Hey everyone, it's Sarah the Registered Nurse RN.com and in this video I'm going to talk about some things that every nurse should know about their patient. Now this isn't necessarily an exhaustive list of everything that you need to know about a patient before you actually provide care to them. It's just really to give you a general idea of things that you should know before you go in that room and see that patient. Because for example, let's say your patient is critically ill. Well, some of these points I'm going to list, you really want to go in more detail with them versus a patient who's less critical, you can make maybe actually skim over some of these points. And this is really gonna vary depending on your nursing specialty and the type of patient population you're providing care to. So one important thing you wanna know about your patient is their diagnosis. Why are they there receiving treatment? Also, you wanna be familiar with their health history, specifically a focused health history. Like, are they diabetic? Because that tells you as a nurse, okay, this patient may have issues with hypo or hyperglycemia. I'm gonna to have to check their blood sugar. We gotta watch their diet, etc. Next, you want to be familiar with a patient's allergies because you don't want to receive an order for a medication on a patient, then find out they're allergic to it, and then have to call the physician back and get an order for a new medication. You also want to be familiar with the patient's code status. Are they a full code or are they a do not resuscitate? Because you never know when a patient is going to code. I have seen patients who are about to be discharged, they've been cleared by their doctor, and all of a sudden, they code. So you want to definitely be familiar with that. Next, you want to be familiar with the patient's lab and testing results and looking for anything that is really important for that patient based on what's going on with them. So look at their trending labs. Let's say you're monitoring the hematocrit and hemoglobin. Is it going up or is it going down? Plus, you want to be familiar with any pending labs the patient may need so you can make sure that those are collected on time and make sure that you're aware of any pending procedures the patient needs to have. Like some procedures require the patient to be nothing by mouth, so you need to make sure they're not eating. And you may have to do a pre-op checklist. And then that ties me to my next point, you wanna be familiar with the patient's diet status. First of all, can they eat? And if they can, what kind of diet are they following? Are they following a cardiac diet, a renal diet, or they have to have a soft diet or because they have swallowing difficulties? So you want to be familiar with all those things. You also want to have this baseline understanding about your patient. For instance, you want to have a baseline about what you should expect out of their mental status, their vital signs, their rhythm. What are they running? Have they been running sinus rhythm or sinus tack, atrial fib, atrial flutter? And you want to have an understanding about their abilities. Can they get up, go to the bathroom without assistance, or are they a total care where you need to do everything for them? Venous access is also important. You want to know, do they have venous access? If so, where is it at? And what size do they have? And when was it inserted in case you may have to change it out depending on your hospital protocol? And this ties in with medications. You want to be familiar with how that patient is supposed to receive medications, like the time frame, and if there's any time sensitive medications or medications that require you collect lab work before you actually give the medication along with any PRN medications the patient's taking let's say they're having pain so when was their last dose of pain medication because the patient may ask you when can I have my pain medication next plus you want to be familiar with any type of fluids the patient may have running this can be continuous fluids like normal saline or this could even be some type of drip that you may have to titrate based on the patient's vital signs or even lab results Another thing you want to be familiar with are the devices that your patient has. And this could be internal devices or external devices. And typically, the more critical your patient is, the more devices or equipment they're going to be using. So you want to be familiar with if your patient has a pacemaker, if they have, let's say, a sub-Q port, do they have any wound vacs, drains, or feeding tubes. In addition, you'll want to be familiar with other physician groups that have been consulted to help take care of that patient. Because let's say your patient starts having a cardiac problem. Well, if you see that cardiology has been consulted, you'll know which group to call so you can help get care for your patient. And this leads me into my next point. You'll want to be familiar with the patient's plan of care. And it's really helpful if you go look in the physician's progress notes and just read what physicians have been saying about the patient and the whole treatment plan for them because that'll help give you an understanding about where we're going with this patient's care. 
And finally, you want to be familiar with the patient's support system. This could be family or friends, whoever the patient has designated as someone that they want to know about their health. Now, that was a lot of stuff that you have to remember about a patient. And you're probably thinking, okay, how in the world do I get this information? Well, there's typically two ways. One way is through report, where you have that handoff communication. Whenever you're taking over for another nurse, they give it to you. But sometimes, you know, you may not get that information and you can find that other information you didn't get in the patient's chart. So that is how you get the information. But how do you keep this information straight? Because you have all these other patients that you have to remember other things on. So one thing I have found that's really helpful is to use some type of report sheet template. And I actually have some report sheet templates that you could look at to maybe get some ideas. And uh, what you can do is you can have this piece of paper, write the information down whenever you're getting a report, and then as you find out that information, add to it, and then periodically just check it to help refresh your memory on which patient has this and which patient needs that. And that can really help guide you throughout your day. Okay, so those are some things that you need to know about your patient as the nurse. Now, if you would like to watch some more videos, let's say new nurse tips, etc., you can access the link in the YouTube description below.